a subscriber contacted me about an annoying problem with his DX7. Help me, please. Whatever I try to do with the envelope generator, the sound starts off with a click. I hate it. I want it to start smoothly. He created a slow attack sound, but no matter how much he adjusts attack, he still gets this click noise even with slower attack. I also did a search and found out that there are also people having a problem with a click noise when a key is released. I've noticed these problems before and for certain patches, when I press a key, I can hear both attack click noise and release click noise. Well, I spent a bit of time figuring out why this was happening and I came up with fixes that will solve these problems. So everyone, we can relax and get on with the fixes. First, we are going to recreate these click noises at slow attack and release. We go to function menu and press button 10 for initializing a patch. So what the initialized patch is like? It uses algorithm 1 with only operator 1 on. Feedback is 0. Ratio is 1.00 for all operators and detune is 0 for all operators. Let's press button 21 and 22 and use operator select to check envelopes for all operators. You will notice that all operators have the same envelope. Rate 1 is 99, rate 2 is 99, rate 3 is 99, and rate 4 is 99. Level 1 is 99, level 2 is 99, level 3 is 99, and level 4 is 0. No keyboard level scaling or rate scaling are applied for all operators. Only operator 1 has output level at 99. The rest of operators have output levels of 0. There is no key velocity sensitivity for all operators. Now, let's press a key. It has the fastest attack and the fastest release. So, you can't really hear those click noises at attack and release. Now, we will make some changes to the envelopes. Let's learn and revise how the DX7 envelope works. A DX7 envelope has eight parameters per envelope, per operator. 
Rate is the speed of how fast envelope moves from attack to release. Rate equal zero means that the slowest, and rate equal 99 is the fastest. Level is the amount of either volume for carry operators or frequency modulation for modulator operators. Level equal 0 means no output, and level equal 99 is the maximum output. Attack is controlled by rate 1 and level 1. Decay is controlled by either rate 2 or rate 3 or both. And the same goes for level 2 or level 3 or both. Sustain is controlled by rate 3 and level 3. Release is controlled by rate 4 and level 4. Basically, it offers more flexibility than traditional ADSR type envelope. So, what is happening with the initialized voice patch? At the moment, all operators' envelopes are set the same. Rate 1 is 99, Rate 2 is 99, Rate 3 is 99, and Rate 4 is 99. Level 1 is 99, Level 2 is 99, Level 3 is 99, and Level 4 is 0. This means that it's a flat envelope at maximum levels with fastest rate 2 and rate 3. So, what can cause this problem? We will start with changing operator 1 envelope only. Let's make rate 1 and rate 4 slower. Set rate 1 to 50 and rate 4 to 50. Now, let's press a key again. When you have faster rate 1 and rate 4, you won't be able to hear the click noise. By making rate 1 and rate 4 slower, you can actually hear the click noises both at attack and release. They are not loud, but you can definitely hear them. When you set rate 1 slower, Say 35, then the attack click noise gets delayed and you can still hear the release click noise as well. So, how do you fix this problem? Whenever you hear these click noises, it's to do with envelope rate 3. When rate 3 is set at 99, 
then you get the annoying click noises. In this example, level 3 is 99, so in some cases, you can have a level 3 lower, but level 3 is set higher, so you may still get those click noises. To stop these noises, you need to adjust level 3 and set them much lower, say less than 70. Let's set rate 3 at 60. Once you've done that, press the key. Now, those annoying click noises are gone. You can still hear a rising noise, but that's okay, because it's part of DX7 charm. So far, what we've done is to stop those click noises for a single carrier operator. But what happens when you have a modulator with a carrier operator that doesn't make the click noise. Let's set operator 2 output level to 70 so that we have a two operator tower is used for algorithm 1. Set rate 4 equal 0. So we have rate 1, rate 2, and rate 3 at 99. Rate 4 is 0. Level 1, level 2, and level 3 are set at 99, and level 4 is 0. This means that frequency modulation of operator 2 starts and finishes with the full length of operator 1 carrier envelope. Press the key, and we get the click noise again but slightly different. We are only hearing the click noise when the key is released. So, how do you get rid of this annoying click noise? You do the same thing to this modulator operator. Adjust rate 3 to 60. Let's press a key again.
Now, you don't hear those annoying click noises. Both carrier and modulator are free from the click noises at attack and release. So far, I demonstrated those click noises for algorithm 1. You can have the same problem with algorithm 2 or other algorithms, but you can apply the same approach to fix those annoying click noises. Also, when envelopes are set differently, make sure that they are not set to make attack or release sound. That means that rate 1 and rate 4 are slower, less than 60. If you still hear those click noises, then you may have rate 3 set to fast with level 3 set the same or higher than level 2. So, let's summarize what we've done so far. We initialize a patch to recreate those annoying click noises. We looked at a flat envelope with slow rate 1 and rate 4. We adjusted carry operator rate 3 from 99 to less than 70 when level 3 is 99. This stops those click noises for both attack and release. We adjusted modulator operator 3 from 99 to less than 70 when level 3 is 99. This stops those click noises for both attack and release, but slightly different to the carrier operator. So, those annoying clicks are now gone. You can focus on making some great DX7 touches.